I used to be an adventurer like you. Then I took an arrow in the knee. <laughs> Hello folks and welcome back to the channel. Okay, in this tutorial we are going to be doing custom AI packages. We are going to do a custom sleep package, a custom e package, custom sandbox package, and a custom work package for a character that I'm making in my new Stormsong Manor. Okay guys, the first thing that you're going to want to do is go to characters and go down to package and we're going to make the default sleep pack we're going to make a uh, default sleep package for this character jacob so type in default sleep now i want to have him sleep i want to have him uh get up at six in the morning so I am going, or 7 in the morning, I am going to use the default sleep editor. So I'm going to go ahead and open that, and I'm going to change the ID 000M9, that's my naming convention. This is going to be default sleep Jacob SSM. The SSM signify, is, signifies something as it's going to have a condition but first we have to go to the flags must complete and wear sleep outfit maintain speed at goal preferred speed will be walk so that's that's good there now the condition is that you click on right click and click new and you want to get you want to put the keyword on here get in cell just like that open this up and this is storm song manner so that's good okay okay and we're going to want to copy that condition so that part is done now we need to actually point this package at the bed so we are gonna confirm this and drop that down and we're gonna go to Stormsong Manor to point this package at the at Jacob's bed it takes a second to load here we are and I want his bed to be that one right there that will be his bed. So we'll open this back up and we will click on, let's see, first we have to make sure everything is allowing eating, no energy, no. Okay, we have to click on sleep location and you wanna click on the near editor location radius 2000. So we'll go ahead and click on that and then on this new window click near reference and then push the select reference button and that is good right there and push ok and save your work okay now we're going to make a eat package for Jacob and we're just going to type in default E. And since he gets up at 7 o'clock in the morning, we're going to do the default E editor. And we're going to name this 000 M9 underscore um, default E Jacob SSM. So that's good and we're going to go to conditions because we have the condition pasted on the clipboard so we're going to paste that in right there 
And the reason for this condition is, is that as a follower, when he's not following you and he's at the house or you come back to the house, he will use these packages. Otherwise, we're going to put default packages on him when we make the follower, which will be in a, another tutorial. Okay, so we want to must complete, maintain speed at goal, walk, and all that, all that's good. And the package here, we're going to set where we want him to eat. So we're going to go back into the house some way here. And we want him to sit in this chair right here. So we will double click on the eat location, click on near editor location radius. We'll click on near reference, select reference, select the chair. And that's all good. And OK. And that's a new form. And that's good. And we'll open that up. Uh, yeah, okay. It was, took a second. We'll open that up and everything is copacetic. All right. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and save. Now we're going to do our sandbox, our sandbox, our custom sandbox package for Jacob. All right. So you want to go over here and we are going to type home owner pretty close we need this one right here and we're going to change this to 000 m9 underscore uh sand box homeowner jacob ssm and we are going to do our flags must complete uh, maintain speed at goal preferred speed we just want them to walk conditions paste the condition that I got on the clipboard and a package now you can use you don't have to do this what I'm gonna do here I just want to make sure that this is done so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put an X marker heading in right here. So I will push OK on that. Create the new form. Then I will open world objects. Click on static. Clear the filter. And X mar. And it'll come right up. I'm going to do X marker heading just like that. Turn it around. And I'm going to double click that and I'm going to give it a reference ID. So this is, will be Jacob Sandbox. Just like that. Okay. Now, I'll clear the filter. I'll go back to my packages. And you can see I got these here. Uh, before I set this, I want to, I want to check something here. Right, I, yeah, I, I, I was, I, I forgot, I, I didn't, I forgot if I actually set the flag for wear sleep outfit. So, we're going to open this up, the sandbox, and we're going to, same thing, click here, and near reference set that, and that's good, and okay, and save all right the next part we're going to do is the w Jacobs work package now this is going to require a little more setup so bear with me okay for our setup we're going to click on static and we're going to put the X mar and we're going to we're going to need an X marker heading but not right now we got to go out to Jacobs work site which is his forge outside of Stormsong Manor. So we will 
click on the yellow door marker and go to the exterior cell and let this load up it loads up fairly quickly and I'm going to click on that so I can rotate and this is his forge so we're gonna go in here and click on something over there so actually we're just gonna click on that the light will do it good so we want to put this X marker heading in here um, doesn't matter where we're gonna double click this we're gonna give it the reference Jacob work like that and what we want to do is, is we want to connect all of the furniture in this building to this X marker. So we're going to double click the anvil first and we're going to go along to link ref, double click, select reference and render, render window, select our work marker and we're going to put a keyword on this. And this is blacksmith anvil, because that's an anvil. Okay, that's good. And the sharpen the sharpening wheel. We're gonna do the same thing, except the keyword here. Put is there isn't a keyword for the sharpening wheel, so we're gonna use is. Uh, actor we're gonna go up to the top and this is actor type NPC and we're gonna push OK on that click on the tanning same thing And this one actually has a keyword, is T-A-N, is tanning, right here. Push OK on that, and then we'll just go over and take a look at my custom workbench right here. Isn't it beautiful? Open that up. Double click here, same thing. And this is, is blacksmith, blacksmith workbench okay and that and save our mod and now we can go ahead and close that we want to go back to we're going to clear our filter and then we're going to go back to package and we haven't done the work package yet so what we need is a a work package now you can uh, build it however you want to but I usually just go ahead and use the best one for me to use is Alvor's work package so I'll open this up M9 underscore work Jacob SSM just like that and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to switch the location here. And I'm going to select a new reference. And it'll be that one right there. And flags must complete. And the reason I'm using this is because this work package begins at 8 o'clock. Exactly one hour after he starts eating. So he'll eat and go in, go out to work. So same thing here. Maintain speed, uh, no comment on that, 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 once per day, and we want to turn Greek corpse behavior on. So, okay, and that will do it for that. Now, our all of our packages are set up for our NPC. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And remember, if you guys found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and 
then hit that subscribe button if you'd like to support the channel click on the join button below the video or look in the description or look in the upper right hand corner you'll find cards to go to streamlabs and my merch store and the um channel to join as a channel member all right once again guys thanks for watching and remember until next time keep your sword sharp don't be a milk drinker and always watch the skies traveler